All right, 26 to 30. 26, um, again, which one would be the most soluble in water? So we're looking for something like water that has polar bonds and hydroxides on it. Oh, wait a minute. All of these have hydroxides on them. So in this case, it would be the smallest possible molecule. That A there is methanol. You have one carbon, so that's a methyl. So that's methanol. And methanol is extremely small and therefore going to be more soluble than the other ones. We have methanol. Here's ethanol, two carbons, propanol, one, two, three carbons, butanol, and then one, two, three, four, five, five carbons, pentanol. Um, that last one's not going to be very soluble at all. It's just a very long carbon chain. It will be soluble, just not compared to, to methanol. Methanol is the smallest of those. Uh, 27, again, just kind of rank these from uh, least soluble, so that would be something that's nonpolar in water nonpolar and therefore non-soluble in water to extremely soluble and sodium nitrate is an ionic compound that is extremely soluble in water. 28 is basically a definition. It's 28 percent so that would be 28 grams for every 100 grams of solution. That's the entire solution so it's 28 over 100. Molality, we've, this is a definition question. Molality is moles per kilogram of solvent make sure it's kilograms versus this one we have liters so this actually is the molarity not the molality um, and the other one the other ones aren't really anything They're just random combinations of units and number 30 which uh, one varies with temperature molarity and that's one of the issues with molarity Molarity can vary dependent on how the temperature changes because the volume would expand and contract and therefore the molarity would be going up and down as the volume changed.